Hello everyone and welcome to this short review about two lenses that I bought for myself because I think they are just great. In this comparison, the Canon RF 14 to 35 mm f4 SL version for only 1800 bucks and the Canon RF 16 mm f2.8 STM for only 350 bucks. If you like this video, I would be happy if you buy, for instance, the lens, the memory card, or the camera using the link provided in the video description below. Thank you. The RF 16 to 35 mm weighs only 165 grams. The lens hood was not included, but you get this one here for just under 15 bucks under the link in the video description. The 14 to 35 mm is already a bit heavier with 540 grams and the lens hood feels just too cheap. It is included as well as a protective bag. I like that I can still use all my 77 mm filters on this lens. For the 16 mm it gets a bit more special because for that I need a 43 mm filter. The 14 to 35 mm has a zoom ring, a focus ring and a programmable RF ring that you can use to change the aperture, ISO or shutter speed for example. For me I use it to change the focus area. The 16 mm has only one ring. You can use that to focus or to adjust the parameters mentioned. Now to the ultra annoying part. If you want to switch between the autofocus and the manual focus, you can only do that via the Canon menu. An extra switch for the autofocus and manual focus and the image stabilizer can be found on the side of the 14 to 35 mm. I would worry less about chromatic aberrations, vignetting is very pronounced at fast apertures with both lenses. The remedy is Adobe Lightroom. It can be corrected in less than a second using the automatic correction. The situation is somewhat different with flare. Ring. Depending on the angle, they can be very pronounced or less pronounced. Both lenses are perfect companions for your travels because everything fits on them. Ideal for landscapes and interiors. The 16mm has the better aperture, of course, in case it's dark. So that is the 16mm in 4K using my Canon EOS R6 and its internal microphone. Maybe one or the other is trying to film himself using the super wide angle lens here, the 16 millimeter for TikTok or Instagram. And that's how it looks like on my Canon EOS R6 in 4K 50. Since we are in video mode, let's have a look at a few more examples. The autofocus is extremely fast on both. The only thing that annoys me is that I can only switch from autofocus to manual focus via the Canon menu on the 16 millimeter. In terms of focus speed, I would say they are almost the same. Both lenses are extremely sharp starting wide open. You can check if the red ring makes a difference. You can find the sample files in the video description also in RAW. I use the RF 16mm when I shoot videos for you at home and I have little space, in addition of course for landscapes and architecture. The RF 14-35mm to is of course much more flexible, a bit heavier and has the worst aperture. But you have a zoom ring that can make the difference. Feel free to write me what you use one or the other lens for. I found bokeh to be very nice with both lenses. At 35mm you might also think that the photo was taken with the RF 16mm at 2.8. In the dark, however, you do notice the difference between a 4 and a 2.8 aperture. The closest focusing distance is an amazing 20 centimeters for the 14 to 35 millimeter and 26 centimeters for the 16 millimeter. Ideal for detail shots, for instance, in the nature. I 
I promised you a short comparison and that brings us to the conclusion. The 14 to 35 mm is much more expensive, a bit heavier and has the worst aperture. But you have the maximum flexibility and have to spend 1800 For the 15 to 35 mm with a 2.8 aperture you have to spend a little more. The 16 mm is absolutely cheap for this performance, impresses with a 2.8 aperture and unfortunately has no extra switch for the autofocus and manual focus. For that it's an ideal travel lens shooting in the dark and for video blocks. Sharp and fast are both lenses. I am curious about your feedback. Which lens do you have or like the most? If you always want to be up to date, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. See you very soon and tschüss.